Only on five, he is a West Palm Beach native and now his book is being displayed in the governor's mansion. WPTV News Channel 5, Sabira Rayford spoke with the author of Still Invisible, examining America's black male crisis about how his book is starting an important conversation on race in America. Elvin Dowling has spent his life thinking about what it means to be black. You know, I grew up on the corner of Palm Beach Lakes and Tamron Avenue uh, in the heart of West Palm Beach, one of the more challenged uh, communities uh, in Palm Beach County. What's the biggest difference in, you, in your life from then to now? I think that young kid is saying, boy, can you believe where we are right now? A Pulitzer Prize nominee, a chief of staff for a national organization, and just this month, Dowling won the Florida Book Award. But even so, like the title of his book, Dowling sometimes feels still invisible. Almost a sense of hopelessness in many ways because nothing really has changed that has moved the ball forward in terms of uh, a life that we can enjoy without the encumbrance of race in this country. Five years ago, he sought out more understanding. Decided to interview uh, 15 African-American men from uh, all across the country, people who had degrees and uh, brothers who had been in prison. What was that common thread you mentioned before? What was the thing you were most surprised by? It really didn't matter uh, what their station was in life. Uh, they all faced the uh, burning sting of racism. Every man had a story. Every single one, without question. Who did you feel like this book should be for? The book was really uh, written to give uh, white Americans uh, an inside view uh, into the challenges and opportunities that African American men face in American society today. And as conversations around race in America continue and many watch the Derek Chauvin trial unfold, Dowling hopes there is one takeaway from his book. We want what everybody else wants, nothing more, nothing less. Reporting in West Palm Beach, Sabir Rayford, WPTV News Channel 5.